Alright, so physics is about understanding the world around us. That's why I study physics, that's why anyone would want to know about more about physics. Um, now, I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about what's called Brownian motion. And it was discovered by this guy named Brown uh, in the early 20th century, I believe. And uh, he was looking at pollen on water under a microscope. And he noticed that these pollen spores kept moving in a really random way. You could never predict where they would be from one moment to the next. Um, we've all sort of experienced the same sort of random motion uh, when we look at dust particles in a ray of sunlight. Uh, we've all been sleepy, waking up late, and maybe it's been a few days before you've cleaned. And so you've got a little bit of dust in your room and you see this dust dancing around in the sunlight. Um, now imagine you wanted to, say, quantify uh, exactly how this dust was arranged. Uh, so you take a picture of the dust and look at where each dust particle is at any given moment. Uh, but then if you waited and you wanted to take another picture uh, in order to see how their positions have changed, it would be really hard to follow one dust particle uh, from one moment to the next because these dust particles are what are called indistinguishable. You cannot tell one from the other. Um, now, the way in which we are quantifying this order uh, is what's called entropy. And so it's a measure of how random and how or not random uh, these dust particles might be arranged. Uh, and the same with these same pollen spores. If you were to take a snapshot at one moment and wait a little bit longer, you might see a change in entropy. And we know from the laws of physics that entropy always increases with time. And so you would see actually more randomness given more time. So is there a way that we can take something random and make it more ordered in time. Been shuffled already, and so it is highly unordered. We can say that it has a high degree of entropy. There is no rhyme or reason to which card follows the next. Uh, they're not organized by suit, by number, by favorite card, there is no no order to the deck whatsoever. But we do have all 52 cards. We know our system. Now imagine we take just one suit out of this deck. We'll pick the spades to treat first. So we'll take all 13 spades out of the deck and make our system one fourth small. This way, a little bit easier to see the order or discipline of our system. So now we just have our spades separated. We have another three suits still in a state of high degree separated. And you notice that the spades are also still have a high degree of entry. Now they would have less entry than the rest of the deck because we have now organized them in some way. They have they are all spades, but there is no order to. And so, is there a way that we can take these spades and introduce a numerical order? Yeah.